Aloha, I'm Matt Harris coming to you from the awe-inspiring Big Island of Hawaii, home to the black sand beaches and five volcanoes. There's two of them right behind me. And standing here where the earth breathes and the legends live, I'm reminded of the deep connections between nature's most powerful forces and the delicate beauty of pearls. And if you got a minute, I want to share with you a captivating tale, uh, one that weaves together the fiery spirit of Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes, with the mysterious allure of pearls. And trust me, you're going to want to stay around for the end of this one. You ready? So, here in the heart of the Pacific, where the waters dance with the sun's golden rays and the volcanoes whisper secrets of the earth, there lived Pele, the fiery goddess of volcanoes. Pele, with her tempestuous heart and a soul as deep as the ocean, ruled the volcanic realms of Hawaii with passion and with power. Now, one day, as Pele traversed the smoldering craters of Kilauea, her eyes fell upon the ocean, it was shimmering under the Hawaiian sun, and she was captivated by the ocean's tranquility. It was a stark contrast to the fiery turmoil of her volcanic world. And in that moment, Pele yearned to create something that embodied both the fierce fire of her domain and the serene beauty of the sea. Stirred by this desire, Pele gathered drops of lava, still warm from the heart of the earth, and whispered ancient chants of creation. She then called upon her sister, Namaka, the goddess of water and sea, to bless these fiery drops, Namaka, understanding Pele's yearning, caressed the lava with cool ocean waves, and thus the first pearls were born. Now these pearls were unlike any other. They shimmered with an inner glow, reflecting the fiery intensity of Pele and the calming embrace of Namaka. The pearls' iridescent hues told tales of smoldering craters and of tranquil seas, a fiery eruption and of gentle waves. And Pele delighted with this creation. She scattered these pearls then throughout the Hawaiian islands and embedded them in the deepest ocean beds. She declared that those who found these pearls would be blessed with the strength of the volcanoes and the serenity of the ocean. And so the legend of Pele's pearls spread across the lands and seas. Fishermen and travelers, warriors and poets all sought these gems, yearning for the balance and the beauty that they represented. The pearls became symbols of harmony, uniting the fiery power of the earth with the soothing depths of the sea. And that, my friends, is where our tale of Pele's pearls comes to an end. But here's a little secret. The story, as enchanting as it is, well, I made it up. You guys are the first to hear it. There are actually no pearls cultivated in Hawaii. And the pearls that you buy here come from places like French Polynesia, Japan, the South Seas, and other places in the world. But while Hawaii isn't known for pearl cultivation, it is rich in stories and landscapes that inspire tales just like this one. My story may not be true, but what is true is the magic that stories like this and places like these hold. They allow us to weave together different elements, like the fiery, engine, uh, fiery energy of Kilauea and the timeless elegance of pearls into a narrative that captures our hearts and our imaginations. So while you won't find Pele's pearls hidden in these volcanic lands, you will find inspiration, beauty, and a touch of magic. And these are elements that I try to incorporate in every design that I create. So while you're visiting Hawaii and soaking up its beauty, you want to know my advice? Consider how a pearl can be a lasting reminder of this paradise behind me. You find one and you love it, take it home. Thanks for joining me in this mythical narrative. And remember that every pearl holds a story waiting to be told. Aloha and embrace the spirit of Hawaii with every treasure you find. I'll see you next time. Thanks.